Hey guys, what's up? Bambi TV. Guys, going to react to what? Jessica. Guys, going to react to a Miracle Mages London Police Officer Asset Isla. Guys, let's get straight into the test. There's some people saying here you, that you became Muslim. Yes. Can I know when did you become Muslim? So, I, um, I took Shahada January this year. This year? This year, January this year. What brought this police officer to Islam will amaze you. Standing on Edgware Road in the bustling city of London, this police constable talks about his journey towards guidance. He took his shahad in January this year. But what made him revert? One night, while trying to fall asleep, PC Paul started feeling tightening in his chest. He felt like someone was squeezing the air out of him, and he found himself gasping. He couldn't breathe. He didn't know what to do, but a voice in his head started telling him, Put the Qur'an on. Put the Qur'an on. So he put the recitation of the Holy Qur'an on his tablet. And as soon as he heard, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, PC Paul started feeling himself getting back to normal. He was no more struggling to breathe. His chest started to loosen up. What a miracle. The very next day, PC Paul went to the masjid and said his shahada. From that moment on, Paul expressed that he feels young, healthy, pure, and alive. The Qur'an, no doubt, has immense healing power. It is widely believed among the Muslims that reciting and listening to the Qur'an can have a healing effect on various levels. Qur'an has the power to bring peace and comfort and can alleviate stress, depression, and anxiety for those who recite and ponder upon the verses. And PC Paul was one of those chosen by Allah to experience this miraculous power of the Quran. Paul has been working on Edgware Road for the past 16 years. And this is an area of London that is renowned for its vibrant, multicultural atmosphere. It is often referred to as Little Beirut due to its large Lebanese and Middle Eastern community. PC Paul has spent a lot of time experiencing the Islamic culture and the community. When he was asked why did he choose Islam, he said Islam is such a peaceful religion and Allah chose me. I learned about the culture, I learned about the community and it's, Islam is such a peaceful religion. Um, Alhamdulillah, Allah chose me. He further stated that the loving and most peaceful people that he has ever met in his life are Muslims and their behavior and demeanor and the way they treated others was what attracted PC Paul towards Islam. Talking about the people he sees regularly on Edgware Road, Paul says that they treat him like family. He says that these people have become a part of me and I have become a part of them. He has become a brother for some, a son for some, and an uncle for some. Often, children that he has seen growing up will come to him if they have any problems and he speaks to their parents on their behalf. If older people have any issues with understanding the law and other legal issues, Paul helps them out. Paul mentions that whenever he has been sick, the people of this community have prayed for him and looked after him. Whenever he has been hungry, they have fed him. This system where people are looking out for each other has drawn Paul towards Islam. In times, when the family system is deteriorating in the West and many people becoming individualistic, we Muslims are blessed that our religion gives so much importance to familial ties and maintain good relationships with communities. And Paul loves this aspect of the religion. PC Paul believes that he is truly blessed to be given the opportunity to work on Edgware Road by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The interactions he has had on this road and the environment he has seen has been a big reason for his acceptance of Islam. No wonder that our religion gives so much importance to good manners and character. Muslims should continuously work on themselves. They should follow the footsteps of the Prophet peace be upon him and learn from the seerah so that when non-Muslims came to know them, they feel impressed by them and find motivation to accept Islam. Another thing that attracted PC Paul towards Islam is devotion to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
He says that the five prayers of the day are such a perfect way to instill discipline and commitment into one's life. He says that it's not just prayers, it's a lifestyle. Being regular on our five daily prayers is another aspect of Islam that non-Muslims are very impressed by. They often agree, and rightly so, that observing prayers at the prescribed time can bring about a lot of routine and order in one's life. Such commitment then overflows into other aspects of a person's life and make it easier to adopt healthier habits. PC Paul then adds that since January, he has studied the Quran twice. He says that it is such a beautiful book and again stresses that Islam is such a beautiful religion. He admits that other religions and countries have been brainwashed to believe that it is not. But he has now found out the truth about Islam after becoming a Muslim. He tells the interviewer that since January, he hasn't missed a single prayer. He observes the five daily prayers and he gets up at 3 a.m. to say his tahajjud prayer as well. The interviewer points out that there are so many people who have been born Muslims, but they're still neglectful of their salah. And here was a new revert observing all the prayers. Subhanallah. Paul gave a very encouraging reply and stated that Allah does not want perfection. He just wants us to keep trying. So if someone is not in the habit of praying, they should start with one and then two, and then eventually they will get into the habit of saying all five prayers. This year, PC Paul also observed Ramadan, the month of fasting, and did not miss a single fast. He even fasts on a Monday and a Thursday. He says it's great for his mind and body. He feels pure and healthy now. He said he would love to go to Mecca and Medina one day, and people from the community have invited him to come with him so many times. PC Paul has now become quite a celebrity. 40 million people in Iraq watch his videos, and he was told that even the prime minister knows him. Paul was so humbled to hear this and says that it's all a blessing from Allah. Nobody knew about him when he was a non-Muslim, and now that he has accepted Islam, he has found not just guidance, but so much love and respect from people all over. We send lots of prayers to PC Paul for his future. May he continue to remain steadfast on the deen and may he motivate more people to see the beauty of Islam. Before we go, we would like to mention that if you must take away one lesson from today's video, let it be this. Beautify your character. Become the most loving, caring, and respectful person. Follow the Sunnah of the Prophet and follow his teachings. Someday, someone you meet might get so impressed by your character that they might be motivated to accept Islam and you will reap the reward for that. Hmm. Guys, this was beautiful, to be honest. Him saying, him saying truth. Because he said he recited, he pleaded when he had this heaviness, but I feel he knew Islam before he played that stuff. Because there's no way you don't want to play the Quran recitation. And the common know. voice will just come to your head and say. Yeah, I feel he knew because he said he had been with the community for a while now. Mm -hmm. So it's something he knew and I feel you don't just take a decision in the day. It's something that has been in his mind and it was tormenting him for trying. So it was a beautiful experience for me because him seeing that that was the truth he wanted to follow. To be honest, I keep on saying it's something beautiful to Jen. Oh, it is. Like, if you want to say it, like, it is beautiful. But what I'm after is the truth, to be honest. I don't really care about what you, the practices or the way you're practicing. All that matters is the truth. Who is right? And to be honest, this religion says right, this religion says right, but in the end of the day, one has to be right. What do you think about this? Well, there's no denial that Islam is a very beautiful religion. I've imagined myself being a Muslim most times when I've yeah, stayed around. Yeah, but she won't by hijab. <laughs> <laughs> because seriously, Islam is a very peaceful religion. And I've noticed that most Muslims 
uh like i don't know they are very devoted when it comes to their religion like they don't joke with their religion one yeah. they are very caring people very respectful like if you see them it's like you're seeing a reflection of their religion in them once you just see this person say oh this person is a muslim yes. you tend to see just watch how the person behaves this person is very humble very respectful very caring but not everybody but most of them yeah so that is like they like try to portray their religion in them like everywhere they go and it's a really beautiful sight trust me yeah so guys i also you think about it just to like share because my channel we'll see you next time guys first